you guys are being encouraged by these videos, share them, okay? Just, just, just send them to other, some other people. Let them be encouraged by it. Uh, this morning, though, I, I want to talk to you guys about the fear of words. And I know that I've talked about this in so many different ways, but there are words or spoken over our life or spoken within our life. What I mean by that is like there are sometimes words that have been spoken from other people. Words that have been spoken from family, words that have been spoken from exes, words that have been spoken from, you know, your parents or your children, words that have been spoken in your life that have devastated you. And we got to begin to ask ourselves, like, what are you going to believe? In this current uh, experience with COVID-19, we're going to hear all kinds of things. We're hearing a lot of things. And we've got to be cautioned as to what we're hearing. And I know that sometimes we're not hearing, we're reading. But the truth is, is that through our eyes, there are words that are coming into our hearts. Like we are hearing through our mind's uh, verbal dictation of what we read on paper. In Psalm 56, 10 and 11 talks about our praise to God. And one of the things that it says is, I won't fear people. I won't fear man. What can they do to me? And I know that they can do a lot to us. I mean, they can physically harm us. They can hurt us emotionally. But when we get down to the deep root of this very real struggle, we begin to understand that though externally we may be experiencing pain and suffering internally, we could be experiencing the beauty and wonder and love of God in such profound and amazing ways. So we got to look at this. We're going to recognize this. Like, what are the voices? What are they saying? What are they speaking to you? Are they speaking fear and dread? Are they speaking overwhelming experiences? Are they expressing to us to hide and be in places where where others can't talk to us, where others can't communicate to us, to, where, where, where other people, you know, like we wall up our life in an attempt to guard our hearts. And the scary thing is, is that when we wall up our lives, when we put walls in front of our hearts, we are trapping, listen to this, we are trapping the internal noise. I know that we're walling up and we're keeping people from being able to speak into our lives. In some ways, we feel like that is a protection. But when we wall up our heart, when we put a wall in front of our heart, we are actually walling in. We are, we are, we are putting a, a, a brigade. We are putting a, a, a fence in front of the words within us, in front of the words within us being able to escape. You know, like... like we need other people to speak into our lives. We need the truth to speak into our lives. We need the truth to ex um, just explode in our hearts. We need the truth to be spoken. And if we wall it up, we won't hear the truth. We won't experience the, experience the truth. We won't hear the things that will, you know, uh, break through that wall or breach that wall and begin to fight battles against the very words that have been spoken into our lives that are creating damage, that are creating pain, that are that are overwhelming us. Like, like where are you at? What, what place are you in this? Like, what can man do to me? Like, I praise God. I trust God. I believe and have confidence in the things that he's going to do in my life and the work that he's going to accomplish within me. And what is that? How does that find um, existence in me? How do, like, where are you going to, are you going to believe him? Are you going to be, believe, believe the, the, the detestable things that others say? Are you going to believe the love of Christ? Are you going to believe the love of others that is expressed through the love of Christ existing within them? Are you going to believe the positive, encouraging words? Check this. You know, are you going to believe the hard words that others are going to speak into your life that, that, that like aren't okay, that are uncomfortable? I don't mean not okay in a bad way, but not okay in a good way because they're beginning to uh, uh, point out areas in our life that need to be addressed. Like what words are you going to believe? What statements are you going to believe? Are you going to believe the lies that the media is spreading and propagating? Or are you going to believe the truth of, of what you hear you know to be true? Man, we got to stop spreading stuff. We need to stop spreading fear. We need to stop encouraging fear. We need to stop cultivating fear. And we need to start cultivating hope, expressing hope, believing in hope, lifting up hope, planting seed of, of, of doubt and, and fear will only damage our lives. But uh, planting seed of hope, of life, of courage, of strength, of faith will begin to increase in our lives faith and hope and break free in us. Hey guys, what are you saying and what are you hearing? Guard yourself, but in a good way.